He said he had bad news for me. I just said, I just need a yes or no answer. You in or out? Um, we went around for a minute, and he said he's out, and I said, okay. As his phone conversation with Josh McDaniels lasted five minutes, Ballard said he didn't ask why McDaniels bailed on the Colts after agreeing to take that head coaching job, and that was just part of what we learned today about the Colts. Now, the other part was an unusually candid discussion of quarterback Andrew Luck and his recovery. So take a listen to this. At this point, we feel very strongly that Andrew's in a good place. He doesn't need surgery. News, no more surgeries on that shoulder. Yeah, but then we heard this. He's working on his throw motion, um, and he's working on his arm speed right now. He's not picked up a football, um, but he's throwing balls, working on arm speed. So should we be concerned that Andrew Luck hasn't picked up a football yet? The Colts say they're confident that he's coming back. And that is something that we know we've all heard before. Remember this past August, Colts owner Jim Ersay said this. But I can say I feel very confident that he'll be ready to start the season. Now, that may not be the Ram game, but to start the season, yes. And obviously, as we all know, Andrew Luck didn't end up playing last season. And as you heard, Andrew Luck tonight is still working to recover. Yeah, Ballard said today that Andrew Luck never talked with Josh McDaniels. So I guess we may never know if Luck's uncertainty played any role in McDaniels backing out of this deal. Still, uh, no doubt, though, Hoosier fans and Colts fans are really not happy about the way that he backed out. Rich and I found out that they're not hiding their feelings tonight, right, Rich? Well, wherever you want to uh, have lunch today, the conversation <laughs> was probably about Josh McDaniels and the Colts, a man who changed his mind with a decision much more significant than choosing from a menu. Um, I think I'm ready to order, actually. Fantastic. Sure you don't need a minute? Well, yeah, maybe. Why don't you give me a minute? Lunch at Daddy Jack's also gave me time to ponder what people are saying about almost was Colts head coach Josh McDaniels. Captain Andrew Luck took to Twitter with the message that the men have been hoodwinked. The deserter McDaniels is on the lam. Let me have the patty melt. I said, patty melt? Sure. Don't need patty melt. It's delicious. Jeff Price said, I did not want him in the first place. This just further solidifies that the New England organization has no morals or ethics regarding anything. You know what? I'm sorry, Jim. I think I'm going to have the club croissant instead. Okay, yeah, that's quite a change. Ellen Matheny McDaniel, not McDaniels, said I wasn't sold on him being the coach to begin with. But this just shows his and the Patriots' true character. Could I have the Tom's turkey instead? Pam Collins Hurley says this is called addition by subtraction. Here you go, sir. These are Tom's turkey. Um, Can I get you anything else to go with that? You know what? I was thinking maybe I'll have the patty melt after all. And Daniel Lindbergh asked Peyton Manning anyone? Can we please get Peyton Manning? I'm enjoying the Tom's turkey. I had a bite, but... Yeah, I just couldn't make up my mind just yet. Yeah, I cut. I felt into that. That looks really good, though. I, I, think, I'll, I think I'll stick with that. <laughs> well, actually, the turkey Tom was delicious, and I appreciate owner Jim Thompson and Daddy Jacks putting up with my playful indecision. Now, the overriding, re overriding reaction on right. social media seems to be that the Colts are better off without McDaniels right. and that they should have never trusted a Patriots coach in the first place. So I guess, as Chris Ballard said today, the rivalry is back on. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> I hope you tipped that guy well today. We did. Okay, very good. Thanks, Rich.